So today I wanted to do a little comparison video for you guys. Um, I got some wool felt in the mail recently. Um, I just googled um, wool felt Canada or whatever and searched and found a site that sold felt that was located in Canada so the shipping wasn't crazy or anything like that. Um, I'll post a link to the site in the description box below the video. Um, cause yeah, if you're in Canada, I recommend them. They're, they're a great site. She shipped, um, I ordered in a weekend. I think she shipped like the Monday morning or whatever and like sent me an email and confirmed and everything else. So yeah, I got two packs of felt in a whole bunch of different colors and I haven't even used it yet, but I'm going to show a video die cutting it. Um, because I've heard this actually works a lot better than the cheapy felt I've attempted to use. Um, Cause yeah, 100% wool felt is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's a lot more tightly woven and the color is a lot more true. Like there's no white threads running through anything because it's 100% wool, there's no acrylic in it. Um, there's also a wool and rayon blend felt. I've heard of that. I haven't tried that, so I can't compare it. I've heard the wool rayon blend is a bit thinner than the 100% wool, but personally I don't see any reason to try the blend. Um, maybe I found, I heard it's cheaper, like by the sheet or whatever, um, but I don't think the colors are as true when it's a blend. Um, but yeah, so I got a couple packs in a bunch of different colors to play around with. And yeah, immediately, like, you can see a big difference between, like, this is the wool and this is just acrylic felt that I got, I think at Michael's or, like, a craft store, anyway, years ago. Um, but yeah, like, you can pull apart the acrylic felt, no problem. And I've already had problems die cutting it. And this is a lot more, um, like I said, tightly woven and true and it's just really nice. So I'm going to die cut it right now and show you guys the difference between the two. So I've got my die. This is just the MFT um, cloud die. Um, I did a review on these already. You can see it here. Um, and this is the acrylic felt. So I'm just using my Big Shot. Um, all the tabs down. The plate. And I'm using a scrap piece of cardstock. Um, so it was cardstock felt and then the die to help it kind of cut a little cleaner. And I'm cutting die face down because that's just how I do it. And then running it through. Okay. So yeah, it didn't cut all the way through. And this happened the last time I tried cutting the acrylic felt. Like, there's just parts that don't cut all the way through the fibers. So you'll have to trim them off. Because um, if you try pulling it, you get fuzzy edges. So, yeah, it did not do a very good job. Um, even though it completely cut through the cardstock below. So let's try this again. This time using the wool blend felt and the die. And we'll just use the scrap piece of cardstock just like so. And all right, run it through. much much better like almost a hundred percent clean cut couple little fibers but that was nothing compared to the acrylic so yeah I can definitely recommend using the hundred percent wool felt for your die cutting as opposed to the acrylic much better results and they look way better so I hope that helped you guys and I will talk to y'all next time bye